A man tried to fire a gun inches from the head of Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner, the country's most prominent leader, but it did not go off. An assassination attempt on Vice President Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner of Argentina failed on Thursday night as a man pointed a pistol at her head and tried to pull the trigger, but the gun did not go off, according to video footage and a statement from Argentina's president. Mrs. Kirchner was unharmed. Cristina is still alive because, for reasons that have not been confirmed technically, the weapon, which was loaded with five bullets, did not fire, President Alberto Fernandez said late Thursday in an address to the nation. This is the most serious event since we recovered our democracy. The federal police arrested Fernando Andres Sabag. Montiel, 35, a Brazilian man living in Argentina, in connection with the attack, according to the Buenos Aires police. Mrs. Kirchner, a leftist former president who is the most prominent leader in Argentina, with three decades in the public... This is the most serious event we have gone through since Argentina returned to democracy. Cristina remains alive because of a reason that is yet to be confirmed technically. The weapon that had five bullets did not fire despite being triggered. Mrs. Kirchner is on trial on corruption charges. Her supporters have rallied outside her home in Buenos Aires since last week. One of the media organizations without confirmation says that he had swastika uh, in a tattooed in his arm. And he's also a light many far-right websites, including something called the demoniac uh, uh, evil communism, and very clearly a gun against her head. And that's the shock in Argentina society is so huge that that might help her, ironically, to regain some of the popularity she might have lost among people who do not agree with her. Just after 9 p.m. on Thursday, as Mrs. Kirchner was getting out of her vehicle outside her home, where a large crowd had gathered, a man quickly approached and pointed a gun inches from her face, according to video footage and the authorities. A clicking sound heard in videos suggested that the man then tried to pull the trigger.